Hey guys, this is Kashish Panchal A.K. The Gozi Chick and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, I have created this beautiful brown smoky eye makeup look with matte base makeup. Before we continue, make sure you like, comment and share this video. If you are new over here, make sure you subscribe to my channel. So yeah, I mean without blabbering much, let's get into this video. So guys, I've already done my skin prep. Now I'm just gonna apply some primer and start with my base makeup. For primer, I'm using the K by Katrina Color Correcting Primer in the shade Green. Now this is a very good primer for people who have redness on their face and this works as a primer as well as a color corrector my rosacea is triggering a lot for the past two days because i was outside and uh, yeah my just my skin just can't bear heat and that's why like it's been very very red and there are bumps on my skin so yeah like my skin is not in its best condition <laughs> Next, I'm using foundation from Sugar Cosmetics. It's their stick foundation in the shade Frappe. I can't stop using this foundation and no, mat no matter how many times you've seen this, I don't think I'm going to stop applying this particular product because it's my favorite. And I'm going to use the Mars 4-in-1 makeup brush. Such an amazing brush. And I'm just going to blend my foundation. There's a misconception for stick foundation is that it's suitable only for oily skin type because it is very like thick in texture Well, that is incorrect. This particular foundation, the sugar one is so good and it's suitable for all skin types. I have combination skin type more towards dry and it works so well and it gives me like such a nice dewy finish and yeah, look at my base like just the foundation i've applied it and it it gives me such an amazing coverage also if you want to know more about this makeup brush you can check out my instagram page i have uploaded a reel on this particular brush and i've reviewed it really well so yeah you can now i'm going to use a concealer this is the l'oreal infallible full wear concealer and just conceal my under eyes real quick I'm just gonna apply like a very little amount of this concealer because it's very like full coverage. I personally feel concealers blend really well with a beauty blender rather than a brush because like for me especially brush gives me like strokes on my face and that is not something that I want. So yeah for me just a beauty sponge works. I personally love doing contouring and I've been using this um, Sugar Face Forward Contour Stick in the shade 01 Fawn first. This is like a very nice um, contour stick although it's very shabby like you can see because of the packaging like I don't like the packaging of this particular product. Push it like upwards, don't push it downwards, you gotta go upwards to set everything in place and for that i'm gonna use the k beauty banana powder i'm taking the same four in one brush dipping it in the banana powder just dusting a little bit of excess and i'm gonna pat it under my eyes i always pat my powder and then like automatically it just blends so i always like to like pat it really well now i'm going to use the k beauty bronze and contour palette and these are the three shades that the palette contains i'm going to mix both of these colors and start contouring my face more so just start going um, downwards just like this I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me blush in the shade Wine, a very beautiful shade. I'm just going to apply it on my cheeks. Because it gives like such a nice color to your face. Perfect, I'm done with my entire base makeup. I'm going to do my brows really quick because it's a boring process and I don't feel that it's worth 
showing like a tutorial so i'm just going to skip that part and directly jump onto our eye makeup all right brows are done now finally i'm going to jump onto the eye shadow part so for my eye shadow i'm going to use the anastasia amrezi palette yeah it's pretty clear that i've literally used this palette a lot so for my eye look i'm just going to use like three shades i'm going to use this this and black shades so all three of these shades are what we're going to use so what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply it above my crease like when you touch your eyelid like this when you poke it you will realize that there is a bone over here so make sure you apply your eye shadow above that bone so that's where we're going to apply the eye shadow now this is like the lightest shade so whenever you are applying your eye shadow always start with a lighter shade and then build it up to a darker one now i'm going to make like a nice winged types so i'm going to push it above like this now i'm going to like push it more and then connect it to the above part now i'm going to build it up with a dark brown shade now i'm just going to pat the brown shade see i'm just going to pat everything blend it with my brush now the darker shade will always be applied a little bit lower than the first transition shade and then blend everything together and push it upwards just like the first shade you have to push this as as well now i'm going to use the same brown shade and pat it all over my eyelid that's how easy brown smoky eye is you just need like two colors a light color and a dark color that's it all right so i've done the other eye now for my lower lash line i'm going to use a dark brown shade which is there on this part of my eye and i'm going to use a black shade i'm going to start blending under my eyes there shouldn't be any space over here because that wouldn't look good so just attach it like joint it really well with the ring now before using a black eye shadow take any kajal that you have i'm going to use this one this is from dazzler eterna and apply some kajal Now I'm going to apply the same kajal on my lid as well like just a tiny little line nothing extra Now you're going to take your black eye shadow and just smudge this kajal same with uh, the kajal that is there on the lid see it looks it instantly looks so nice okay my eyes are looking really nice so basically this is a dark brown smoky eye with a hint of black in it it's not a black smoky eye it's a brown smoky eye so there is just brown color on my lid and my under eyes are smoked out with a black kajal and eye shadow i'm using the mascara from essence cosmetics uh, it's available on nykaa i will put down the link below and i'm just going to coat my lashes now this step that i'm going to do you can skip that but i love it and that is my inner corner so i'm going to use a black eyeliner and i'm going to extend my inner corner like from the tear duct because it looks so nice and snatched let me show you how it looks look at the difference of my eyes like you can instantly see this one is now looking much more snatched compared to this one so that's why i like doing it
So I personally use my eyeliner to make bindi. And because I'm in an Indian attire, I love bindi. Uske bina me ko bhot khali khali lagta hai so. Alright, the look is coming together now. And for my lips, I'm gonna use the pack lip liner in the shade coffee. And I'm just gonna overline my lips. I'm gonna fill in my lips with the Miss Claire Power Matte Lipstick in the shade 06. All right guys, so this was how the final look turned out. It looks so nice, so beautiful, giving out that beautiful Indian vibes, to be honest. I'm waiting for festivals to start really, really soon. But yeah, this is how the look turned out. It's a beautiful brown smoky eye with a hint of black color in it. And I think it looks so nice, so chic, so elegant. And also it's such an easy makeup look to create. I think it would be very easy for anybody to create this look because you just need like two shades of eyeshadow, light brown and dark brown and then you're good to go. And then you need a kajal with I think every single person has a kajal. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I'll meet you in my next YouTube video. Bye-bye.